Ofis Dr. Ka for Chidibeje, CEO at Dr. King Foundation Nigeria, convener Trader Ton, the Lupus Day, the Lupus Day. My name is Dr. Kafo Chidimeje, CEO of Dr. King Foundation Nigeria, convener, traitor on the Lupus Day. Wow, I'm just coming from the, the labor room where I went to certify a 14 years old girl dead. Mm. The girl's mother is here with us now, but uh, she she was just returning from the village as one of the leaders of uh, Omwada. She traveled three days ago to punish a 24 years old girl that had an, unwell, uh, an, un an unwanted a pregnancy, premarital pregnancy, and also to sanction the mother of the girl for being there and not properly taking care of her, her children. And uh, they ostracized the woman, fined the woman, and even beat up the girl before returning from the village. So while she was in the village punishing the girl, her own daughter that's 14 years old went to a chemist by the side of their, of their house to obtain an abortion. So an abortion was carried out on her uh, two days ago while the mother was at the village punishing a 24 years old girl for being pregnant and the mother was aware that this 14 years old is pregnant so she was aware of the pregnant pregnancy but she wasn't aware that the girl and whoever got her pregnant was already planning on how to terminate the pregnancy so when the mother traveled she felt she has already gotten the opportunity because she actually said that the mother told her to find every means to make sure that this pregnancy goes. So she now went to carry it out. And in the process, they infected the wound and she started bleeding. So she came here with severe bleeding, foul smelling vagina discharge. She was septic, in fact, she was in shock when she came, having bled so much. So we started transfusing, but unfortunately we were not able to, to save her. And uh, we also try our, tried our best to do every other necessary thing, but unfortunately she has already bled so much before coming. So just a few minutes ago, she died. So what is abortion? Abortion is a clinical term given to any incident that leads to the expulsion of the product of conception, expulsion of the fetus from a woman that is pregnant with a baby that is not less than, that is less than 28 weeks. That is not more than seven months, not more than 28 weeks. That is what abortion is called. Now, abortion can be spontaneous. That one is what, the one we call miscarriage. Or it can be criminal or uh, induced. Now, this girl had a criminal abortion. That is why she is dead. The induced can be carried out if the woman meets the criteria, the legal criteria can be carried out by a doctor in the hospital. That is the one we call safe abortion. And that one has a lower risk. So that, that safe abortion can be carried out either through medical, in, do, 
those ones you give tablets, drugs, for the woman to take that will lead to expulsion of the fetus. Or it can be carried out using means of surgery, the one we call manual vacuum aspiration. Manual vacuum aspiration involves the dilatation of the service. You dilate the service of the woman and then you gently curate to remove every product of conception. That is the surgical means. It's, it's actually, it has a limited, it's mostly done for fetus that are just uh, in first trimester. Now, what are the disadvantages of criminal abortion? Just like I told you, I mentioned earlier, it can lead to bleeding. I can just take bleeding alone and it will lead to the most fatal complication. The bleeding can be as a result of injury to the womb or to the service, the mouth of the womb. It can be as a result of if the patient is having hemoglobinopathy or having coagulopathy. It can be as a result of if the patient is was injured either in the introitus or in the vagina during the procedure. It can still be a, as a result of the drug. Most of the drugs can induce severe bleeding, like misoprostol. They can induce severe vaginal bleeding. Then uh, the bleeding can result in secondary infertility. Yes, it can result in secondary infertility if, it's, if it leads to pituitary necrosis, the one we call Sheehan syndrome. The bleeding can also lead to severe anemia, can lead to hypotensive shock, can lead to death, include uh, secondary infertility due to injury to the endometrium, the one we call Asherman syndrome. Please don't judge them. The only people allowed to judge are in the law courts. Whenever anybody, because it is this judging, this having time to judge, to condemn, to, to sentence, and to execute them, that leads them to going to wax. So when they come to you, especially when they have already, most of the cases that come to me are cases where where there are already complications from the abortion. They've already done the abortion already, and there is complication. So I'm addressing that now. When such happens, please, start from counseling. Be a problem solver to that patient. You don't know what led to that uh, abortion. So that we do not, because I believe one of the things that killed this 14 years old girl, apart from the bleeding, was possibly the way the mother must have been talking to her, and possibly the way mm, some, some of the health workers were blaming her. Even when I came, they were blaming her. The way they were blaming her and condemning her and all those stuff. So the girl now felt, what am I still alive for? I left. So that's what I'm begging everybody. Please do not judge. Condemn. It's not your duty to do so. Your duty is to prove a solution to the patient. And I want to use this medium to talk to every adolescent out there. It is important to abstain from sex. But if you can't, please use protective barrier contraception. Use the protective barrier contraception. And if per adventure you ever get pregnant, please come straight to the hospital. They, they don't, don't, just come to the hospital. Don't go to any work. Come to the hospital, we will find a solution to your problem. Dr. Oka for Chidi Major, CEO at Dr. King Foundation Nigeria, Convener, Traitor Town, The Lupus Day, The Lupus Day.